In this video tutorial, we'll be going and doing fake burns. Now this is great for a Halloween costume, maybe a cosplay, or you just want to go and practice some special effects makeup. So let's get started. Since this makeup calls for the use of liquid latex, you're going to want to go and cover the eyebrow that you're going to cover with any sort of liquid latex product. This is going to go and save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle. And also too, you won't have to worry about possibly pulling out your eyebrow. Now cover this with some one ply toilet paper or also one ply napkin. Go around where the eyebrow is and then just stick down all of this loosely. Make sure to go and cover it again with more liquid latex and branch off from there. Continue to go and stack toilet paper on top of all of these areas and create some circular areas that are pretty much like this. These are pretty important. You're going to want to make small ones and also larger ones. Continue to go and trail down your face by adding more of this toilet paper and also latex. Make sure to overlap everything, and yes, liquid latex, when it is going and drying, can be a little bit harsh underneath your eye, so definitely try to keep this away from your eye area. Continue to go and stack more of the toilet paper onto your face with liquid latex. You're going to want a second layer in some areas, maybe a third, and before everything dries, move your face around. This is going to go and make it way more elastic and easier to go and move. Go and powder it and then start to add red cosmetic. I'm using a base of grease cosmetic and also putting this onto a makeup pad and just pretty much tapping it around along with also very lightly brushing it in areas. And this is of course after the liquid latex has fully dried and set. You really shouldn't be going and putting any cosmetic on until the liquid latex has dried and usually takes about 20, 30 minutes for it to dry. With a Q-tip, go around your eye Add a darker red cosmetic very randomly to certain areas that are raised. Kind of just go around with a makeup sponge, but don't fully and totally fill in all areas. Make sure not to fully and totally cover the base color. And now add some brown to the raised areas. From there, after you add brown to the raised areas, you're going to continue on to just adding more to different areas that are raised, along with also adding other colors into this mix as well. I continue to the upper portion of my head. I'm still using the brown, but I mixed a very small amount of yellow to give it a little bit of a different kind of look in different areas. Continue to go and add more cosmetic and also add black to some of the areas that are circular and fill in some of the depth there. Also very lightly brush over some of the extra areas that are raised. Make sure to get some of the other areas with a gray and also to add in a bit more yellow. The yellow is going to really make things pop. Also put some black under the eye as well. Make it look sooty with a powdered black cosmetic because when you think about a fake burn or you think about a burn in general, it's going to have like a sooty ashy look. Use a very, very small amount of some of the concealing powder to get some areas that look drier and then go and follow it up with some Vaseline or petroleum jelly. After everything has dried, it's going to look like this, which is pretty gross, honestly. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and happy spooky season.